Okay, so the new RTX 3060 non-TIs are coming out on February 25th of 2021, but it looks like these cards will not be good at mining Ethereum. Basically, you're going to lose half your hash rates, so you're going to get around 26 mega hashes mining Ethereum. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up this video. Hope you enjoyed, but of course, go out there, keep grinding, life of the miner. Nah, I'm just playing. Let's pull up the videos and articles explaining all this. Okay, so it looks like some people were able to get the RTX 3060 early. And this one person, Crypto Leo, he made a video on him testing the RTX 3060 mining Ethereum. Now, this guy is a Russian crypto YouTuber, and I have a link to this video below. But you'll see that he was getting around 48 mega hashes in the beginning, but then after a minute, he dropped down to around 26 mega hashes. But let's check this out. Okay, so he just started the miner with the new RTX 3060, and it looks like he's using Phoenix Miner. Now just give it a couple minutes for the graphics cards to work. And right off the bat, it looks like he's getting around 48 mega hashes. But as you can see, a couple seconds later, his hash rates are dropping. Now there may be some ways to fix this issue and maybe someone in the mining community will figure this out. But it looks like the hash rates keep dropping. So it looks like after a minute, his hash rates are averaging around 26 mega hashes. And it looks like he's pulling around 121 watts. So it looks like the RTX 3060 may not be a good buy for mining at the moment. Okay, so pulling up this first article. And this article is actually from the NVIDIA website. And it states right here. GeForce is made for gaming. CMP is made to mine. We're limiting the hash rate of the GeForce RTX 3060 GPUs. So they're less desirable to miners and launching the NVIDIA CMP for professional mining. So if I scroll down a little bit, it does stay right here. The GeForce RTX 3060 is going to be launching on February 25th and they are having the hash rate. RTX 3060 software drivers are designed to detect specific attributes of the Ethereum cryptocurrency mining algorithm and limit the hash rate or cryptocurrency mining efficiency by around 50%. So Nvidia stated it themselves. They're cutting the RTX 3060 hash rates by half. And because of this announcement to address the specific needs of Ethereum mining, they are announcing the new NVIDIA CMP or Cryptocurrency Mining Processor product line for professional mining. So it looks like NVIDIA is doing the same thing what AMD is doing, which is limiting the hash rates on the newer GPUs. So these new graphics cards can go to gamers instead of miners. Okay, so the next article is by Video Cards, and it states right here, NVIDIA announces crypto mining processor series, GeForce RTX 3060 driver will limit mining performance. So let me go ahead and read this article. So NVIDIA announces crypto mining processors CMP HX series. NVIDIA has just announced a new series of products designed specifically for cryptocurrency mining. The new series is a response to the growing popularity of Ethereum mining. The CMP HX series shouldn't be considered a graphics card. In fact, they won't even feature display outputs according to the announcements. These cards will be similar to the Pascal P10X. The CMP HX series shouldn't be considered a graphics cards. In fact, they won't even feature display outputs according to the announcements. These cards will be similar to the Pascal P10X. So if you had like the P104 or P106 series, which were available during the previous mining craze through AIBs exclusively. Those cards were offered with limited warranty and low resale value due to lack of drivers and display outputs. Those cards were simply useless to gamers. And that is definitely true. The Pascal P10X series were pointless to gamers. Continue reading. 
NVIDIA announced four CMP HX cards, which will offer Ethereum hash rate from 25 mega hashes at 125 watts to 86 mega hashes at 320 watts. It looks like those aren't too great hash per watt ratio. These cards will be offered with up to 10 gigabyte of VRAM, which indicates it would be similar to the GPU to GA102. According to the announcement, the CMP HX series will become available already in the first quarter, while the 10 gigabyte model will go on sale in the second quarter. So it sounds like these cards should be coming out pretty soon. Now I mentioned this already from the previous article, but the RTX 3060 drivers will limit mining performance. And just like before, it states right here, expect to lose 50% hash rate when mining with an RTX 3060. If I scroll down a little bit and zoom in, let's go over the new NVIDIA CMP series cards. So for the 30HX, it looks like you're getting around 26 mega hashes pulling around 125 watts. And the memory size is 6 gigabytes of VRAM. Now for the 40HX, you're going to get around 36 mega hashes pulling around 185 watts. And the memory size is 8 gigabytes. For the 50HX, you're getting around 45 mega hashes pulling around 250 watts. And the memory size is 10 gigabytes. And last but not least, for the 90HX, you're getting around 86 mega hashes pulling around 320 watts. And the memory size is 10 gigabytes. And it looks like the 30HX and the 40HX is coming out pretty soon in first quarter. And the 50HX and the 90HX is coming out in the second quarter. Now it looks like these cards don't have too great hash to watt ratio, but these cards haven't come out yet and these cards may not be tuned. So these cards could get a lot more hash rates with lower watts. But I'll cover this topic in more details in another video. Okay, so let me know your thoughts on this whole situation. What do you think about the RTX 3060 losing half its hash rates? Do you think gamers will be happy? Do you think that someone will find a loophole and will be able to achieve the max hash rates on the RTX 3060? And what do you think about the RTX 3060 mining on other algorithms? But definitely drop a comment below and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it, sub if you decided to see what's next. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining. for watching the life of a miner. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You don't want me to get angry and turn Super Saiyan, so make sure you subscribe to the life of a miner. I'm also the narrator, next time on the life of a miner.